Well, we're very excited to be here today for the reopening of the Gordon Highlanders Museum. While the Provost is here today, he will be uh, part of the, the group who will see for the first time uh, official screening of our new introductory film, which provides our visitors a short account of the history of the Gordon Highlanders. At the same time, we will be demonstrating our new audio guide, which will be promoting a wider understanding of the museum collection. I think it says something about the worldwide impact of the Gordon Highlanders uh, that we have interest for people of the calibre of Dougray Scott, who's made a tremendous uh, impact in what he's done for the museum. In common with many from across Scotland and beyond, my family history is part of the story of the regiment. My grandfather, Lance Corporal John Partison Morrison, fought with the 7th Battalion, the Gordon Highlanders Regiment, in World War I, and this included the deadly battle on the Somme. He was one of the lucky ones. He came home. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been born. I know he would want his story and that of his friends retold to younger generations as a warning from the past. I was very proud of my grandfather, and this is why I'm glad to support the museum. I hadn't expected that this would mean recording the voiceover in Canada where I was on location filming, but given the hardships he endured, this was a minor inconvenience. Filming has again prevented me from being with you today, but I am certain that you will enjoy the new film that introduces museum visitors to the story of the Gordon Highlanders. This museum is so important to Aberdeen City, to the Shire, to the North East and beyond because we are protecting and preserving the history of the Gordon Highlanders, uh, referred to as the finest regiment in the world. I think that we're seeing the transformation of uh, what was a very, very impressive local museum into something of uh, more national standing. And also it allows us to take another revisit the history and re-examine things and see some of the realities in clearer focus than we used to do. So we're looking forward to doing that today and, and in the future. Is that all right? A young war correspondent wrote, they are the finest regiment in the world. He was Winston Churchill.